thank you for tuning into my channel and um just want to show you guys here i want to say comparison and um the reason why i'm saying that because uh this guys almost do what they're supposed to do <laughs> well anyway like first we're gonna look at the um optic flow sensor this one right here is a bottom sensors and um you can see the tello here has this extra sensing going on and you can see here the wingsland um, x1 only have that little camera so what i'm saying is if it's low light in hovering this guy's like have that toilet bowl effect you seen those in the old drones when they have a gps or the gps did not lock right um now we're gonna call it the <laughs> the um i call this the um, toilet effect on the bottom sensor so position sensing so anyway um now you guys can see they're about the same size but noticing here by feeling the weight i could tell the wingsland x1 is a little bit heavier and the tello it's a little bit lighter and um of course when you see the battery this guy here only got the um milliamp of 3.7 i'm sorry milliamp 600 milliamp on this guy here uh 3.7 volt and this guy over here is 1100 um milliamp with uh 3.8 volts so when you put this together i'm sorry when you put the battery in and you put the wingsland battery in and you can see it's actually now the tello <laughs> it's much heavier because this guy actually have a 13 minutes flight time this guy right here um i don't know on the app or anything else it probably says um eight minutes but in real time this guy get about 11 to a 10 um minutes this guy right here only gives you about five to uh, four minutes depending on your recording so there you go by just seeing that and you can see here the props um, on the wingsland x1 it's a little bit it's one of, i don't want to say this cheap it's well it's one of those cheap micro drones kind of deal this is what he has on it but he has that um strong feel to it so um but the look it's look like one of those cheap ones and you can see here the tello have this unique look that has the phantom um props on it so you can see but now by just looking at this prop i can tell uh, this guy here is going to be hard time on the win situation and this guy here can handle the wind without no problem flying the wind without no problem because of the the um the way the the props and the weight it got more to it this one right here just remind me of the mambo um parrot mambo um if you guys didn't see that you can see my last review i actually compared it with the tello um well what i'm saying is uh there's two things i want to say um i know i don't want to go ahead and compare it but be honest with you this is the only way i can compare this because they both have bottom sensing and they both pretty much shoot like you know cameras 2.7 i'm um, sorry 7 point uh what am i saying right now well uh, 720p and the only thing about this guy right here the video on this guy right here the video you can see is uh you have this lights going on in this side it looks pretty cool like um but the drawback about it is it's like i think when you when you see something in the image um you can see blue outlining i don't know maybe i was doing it at night maybe in the daytime will not see that um the tello here don't have that issue and also because you can change the camera angle um the way this thing flies is not the so if you have the tello and you know how the tello fly it's like a dgi spark and the dgi um mavic air to mavic pro the reason why i'm saying that because i own 
three of those drones and I experienced them the way they fly. So basically when this thing flies, it hovers. And if you want to go ahead and lower it down and you want to land, it's not going to go down right away. It's just going to basically stay and then it's going to go ahead. You have to say okay to land or you have to put in your hand and say okay to land. And it will just go land. But this guy here is totally different story. This thing, when you put land or you just want to go down, it will just automatically <laughs> goes down. Um, kind of remind me of the cheap kind of drones. Um, the Parrot Mamba don't even have that problem. Parrot Mamba kind of have kind of like the same thing with the Tello. Well, this Wings Lens X1 has that issue. So when he hits, it hits down. And another thing is you've got to make sure that this battery goes in, it'll click. Because if you don't, if it goes in the ground and hits something, um, it actually shuts off everything. Not like the Tello here, you got this button and you just turn on. Um, another thing, because the camera goes off and off, it goes back and down because, you know, the way it flies and it goes to the, the, um, the image goes supposedly so you can, you know, not miss anything, I guess, because it's not going downward. But the problem about this one, when it hits in the ground, I don't know what it is because it's a, lo a loose camera deal. So when it hits the ground or you just land hard, your image on the app is gone. So that means you got to turn off your app, you got to redo everything, even the Wi-Fi, and that's all over again because of this clicking issue here and, of course, of the um, angling. So basically, they probably have a ribbon going on inside of that. But um, anything else, uh, you guys can see here in the props guards, the Tello is way much stronger. This one right here looks really cheap. I mean, look at it. I don't know. It's just... Um, I think Wingsland could have had, they could have had the same thing with the Mambo. They have that thing deal going on here. But this one, I don't like about it because if there's some days you just want to go ahead and take up the props, you're going to start changing. You're going to start messing up your propellers and you're going to get more because of overusing it too much. But anyway, there you go. And that's my, um, comparison for you guys. And then, um... I'm gonna go ahead because you guys know about this flight already and this guy here you can watch my video I put this guy to the exhaust extreme weather <laughs> that's what I do I do extreme reviews and this one can handle any weather basically strong winds rain anything etc you can even think of this guy here don't know yet I only flown it indoors in low light I'm gonna go outside gonna check out the um, performance on this guy here it's windy where I'm staying at all the time, so it's a good thing because we can actually see how the flight performance on this guy and what's the range on this guy also. But be honest with you, um, I think this Wingsland X1 actually fly in Wingsland S6. So if you're gonna buy, a, if you're thinking about buying the Wingsland S6, buy this one first because the I heard the um, Wingsland S6 don't have the flight capability like this guy had. Um, Probably got better long flight time, this guy here. But anyway, um, now you guys can see. And thank you. If you guys do subscribe, you guys going to see all this stuff. Um, I'm going to put this guys to the test. So thank you. Appreciate it.